When it comes to SEO, for me, there are different levels. There are the experts, and that's these guys flipping around. They can kind of handle whatever they want. They're doing fun tricks. It's really crowded. It's competitive. Almost people bumping into each other, just clearly not at my level. This is my level. Yeah, that's right. The big wheel sliding around, putzing around with a few friends here or there, barely maintaining control, always trying to impress the ladies, and of course, constantly adjusting things as I go. So that's me. That's big wheel SEO. So that's what I want to take a look at right now. Let's take a look at my level of SEO, big wheel SEO. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go to New York Times, and I want you to see exactly what today's date is. So right now it is Tuesday, February the 15th, 2011. Okay, I'm going to back out of here. And the next thing I want to show you is a simple search we're doing on Google for powerful self-esteem tips. So Powerful Self-Esteem Tips brings us to number one site of selfesteemtoptips.com. It brings us to ehow.com, which is a, a huge site to go against. And there it is, number three, doitordon't.com. Now, doitordon't.com, for those who don't know, is actually my website. It is a, another blog that I have set up, and this blog specifically focuses on personal development, another uh, passion of mine. So why, whereas my first 100, which is the video that you're watching now on, on this blog, focuses on internet marketing and building a successful blog, this one, Powerful Self-Esteem Tips at doitordon't.com, is all about powerful personal development. So that is the current post I have ranking page one of Google, and this is the first time I've ever ranked page one of Google for anything. I know that I've ranked in Google for stuff, but I think it's been page like 1,675,412. Um, and I was probably excited about that, just the fact that I was in Google. That was actually my first really exciting moment. But this, the fact that I'm page one of Google, that's just freaking incredible. Now, I'd like to give you a quick tour and show you how exactly I created this situation for myself, how I actually got this particular post, this page, this blog to rank on page one of Google. Now, first, I want to publicly thank Jared Elvidge for his help with this. He has been my muse when it comes to SEO. And uh, I, I want to kind of give you an example of the conversation that we have. I'll talk to Jared and I'm talking to him and I'll say, okay, Jared, so, you know, how does SEO work? And he says, well, you got to be specific and you want to tell him what the page is about and blah, blah, blah. blah. And I said, okay, that's great. So um, how does SEO work? And he goes, well, you got to be specific and you want to talk about, you know, what the page is going to be like. And, and I go, okay, that's great, Jared. So um, now how does SEO work? And <laughs> for whatever reason, he has so much patience. Um, the guy's a saint, really. So thank you, Jared, for helping me through this. Um, a lot of this was because I finally, after like the fourth or fifth time of him saying the same thing to me, um, I finally started getting it. I went, oh, okay, so each page has got to be specifically about something. And he went, yeah, exactly. Like I have said 400 times. And I go, I gotcha. So I'm going to try it now. Um, so this page is specifically about powerful self-esteem tips. You can see on the URL, powerful self-esteem tips. You can see powerful self-esteem is in the header here. And you can see that the content is all about self-esteem. So the other thing that I did was I created a list and Google likes lists. My guess, my guess is because of this little bullet point list format is a spider comes through here and the spiders are what Google sort of sends out to crawl through the web to report back on what's out there. The spider comes through and they say, well, this is a list. It's got about powerful self-esteem, probably about powerful self-esteem. Yes, let's rank this higher because it probably is genuine content that a user would like. And if you're searching for powerful self-esteem tips, I would hope that this really is good, useful content for you because I did write it for that person in mind. But I wrote it in a structure where I knew that Google was standing right behind that person kind of auditing to see if it was going to be something that they would like too. So I wrote it with both um, frames in mind, but it is really, truly great content. Now, this picture you'll see also says powerful self-esteem tips when you hover over it, and I'll show you how I did that in just a second. And then down here, what I did is I added a little podcast section where I have an MP3 player that uh, will actually play an audio version of this exact post, and it is me reading the post. That's all it is. But let me show you the behind the scenes real quick. 
So here we are. This is the behind the scenes. This is WordPress, of course, that I use. Um, Powerful Self-Esteem Tips is the title. You can see right here is where I put the URL in there. This is my content, the same content you just saw. That's all in there in the list format. That's just simply typed in. I'm going to click on the picture. I want you to see exactly what I did on this picture. And so you can see that. The picture name is Powerful Self-Esteem Tips. The title is Powerful Self-Esteem Tips. And this Powerful Self-Esteem Tips is what showed up when I was doing a little hover over and the words showed up before. That's where it came from. Alternate text, Powerful Self-Esteem Tips. Description, guess what? Powerful Self-Esteem Tips. So everything's about Powerful Self-Esteem Tips. And remember that MP3 that I said I did in that little podcast, that audio version of me just reading that post? Well, guess what I called that? Powerful self-esteem tips is also what I call that. So that shows Google that there's content about self-esteem that's text. There's content that's picture-based. There's content that is audio-based. So there's lots of different things here about powerful self-esteem tips. And I made it very easy for them to find with um, this title and these headers here. So that is sort of the trick with the content. Now, the thing, again, that Jared helped me out with besides that was... And again, with Jared's help, um, the positive self-esteem tips, even coming up with the idea to write specifically about powerful self-esteem tips was because of Jared, because he sat there and he said, listen, he's like, you know, you've got this great blog. It's about personal development. And even though it's about personal development, you can't rank for personal development because it's way too competitive. And this goes back to that initial video I showed you in the beginning here. Remember those bicycle, you know, the motorcycles jumping around left and right? Like that, me, that, that's the experts. Those people are crazy, crazy good. And they can rank for whatever the hell they want to. I cannot do that. I'm not at that level quite yet. Eventually, I will be. But that's why I'm recording this now. This is the level I am right now. I'm at the level of the big wheel. I'm at the level of can't even do a tricycle yet. I'll fall off a tricycle at this stage. But the big wheel, I can handle the big wheel. And this is big wheel. So I found a very specific niche, which was powerful self-esteem tips. I wrote specifically about powerful self-esteem tips to people who would be interested in powerful self-esteem tips. And that's it. And then what I did is I wrote my tags as powerful self-esteem tips. I wrote my next tag as self-esteem tips. And I wrote the next one as self-esteem. And that's it. That's all this is about. And I stopped after that. I didn't try to get into anything else. And what I used to do down here is all these different tags, I would put, oh, uh, let's see. I would put personal development. I would put goal setting. I would put speed reading. I would put time management. I would put complete disarray. And, and I didn't realize that because I thought, well, I'm telling Google what the blog is about. And this is where Jared, you know, again, had the patience of a saint to say, okay, it's not about what the blog is about. It's about what this page within the blog is about. And so if I wrote, and my guess, I'm guessing at this, but um, I think I'm right, that if I wrote about sofa cushions within this blog, it would not rank as high because Google sees all the other pages in the blog and goes, okay, well, it's about this stuff generally. But then there's like sofa cushions, like that doesn't make sense. Now, maybe that's true, maybe it's not. But either way, I don't think you're really interested in reading about sofa cushions if you're on a personal development blog. So it wouldn't be good content and I wouldn't want to um, write it and people wouldn't tweet it out and people wouldn't share it um, which by the way if you want to tweet that blog post and share that blog post and help me get to number one that would be awesome I mean look how excited I am for number three imagine when I get to number one. Oh my god I'll lose my head okay ah, moving on Jared please visit his site I want to give him a nice little props out again it's imtechhelp.com this is his Facebook page look him up on Facebook an outstanding guy be friends with him get his stuff um, he's got a ton of free videos out there. You can, you can, uh, opt in for it. And they're just, they're phenomenal. So take a look and, uh, he will be a huge help, a phenomenal, phenomenal resource. Now let's go into what my mission is going to be next. I'm going to jump back into Google and I want to search for another phrase, how to rank on guess what page one of Google, how to rank on page one of Google. So when we do that, we see Business Insider, we see Quick Sprout, we see how to rank number one on Google, we see Google talking about how to rank on number one of Google. Um, and SEO people, looks like seoguys.com are doing it. Um, a few other people down there, a couple of YouTube videos, that's new. So um, some YouTube videos that are ranking for how to rank on page one of Google. Now what I'm gonna do is, again, Big Wheel SEO. And let me tell you why I'm calling this Big Wheel SEO. So how to rank on page one of Google, I'm gonna open up another tab and go back into Google again. Only this time I'm gonna search for their traffic estimator. And the traffic estimator is a tool that will actually show you 
how many people are searching for whatever phrase you want. So in this case, we're gonna I'm gonna show you what powerful self-esteem tips. Self-esteem tips. We're gonna estimate that. So there's powerful self-esteem tips, the current keyword. Look how many people are looking for that. Nobody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. So why am I so excited? Why am I excited that I'm page one, I'm number three of a term, of a phrase called powerful self-esteem tips that zero people are looking for? I'm so excited because two weeks ago, I could not even do that. And I can promise you that because all these other posts that I have out there for this entire rest of the blog that I've done for months now don't rank for anything. This post, which I designed specifically for people to find information about powerful self-esteem tips, ranks number freaking three. How cool is that? So big wheel SEO, not motorbikes, not tricycles, not the 10 speeds, big wheels. That's cool. I'm cool with big wheels because I'm going to learn the fundamentals. I'm going to get really good at this level and I'm going to rank for a bunch of stuff that no one's looking for, but at least I'm going to mean to do it. And it's going to, I'm going to get the feel for it. And then I'm going to start ramping up to bigger and better things. And that's part of the reason I'm making this video, because I want to remember for my own self, how excited this feeling was so that the next stage, when I get to the tricycle level, when I can actually rank for something that people are searching for, which is, I think is tricycle, like that's something that would be pretty cool. So this is what I wanted to show you this. How to rank on page one of Google is my next step, but I want to rank for something in the internet marketing niche, which again, is a little more difficult. My first 100 is the blog that focuses on internet marketing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a page, a post specifically about how to rank on page one of Google. So the title is going to say that, um, and it's going to look basically the same pattern that I put here, except where now it says powerful self-esteem tips. It's going to say, I'm going to create a post um, for the my first 100 blog that's going to say how to rank on page one of Google. And the photo is going to say how to rank on page one of Google. Um, this video is going to say how to rank on page one of Google. And we're going to have a post in a format that's going to have lists that are going to talk about how to rank on page one of Google. Incredibly simple. I'm hoping. We'll see. Right now, um, I'm not sure how it's going to work. This is part one. I haven't even done it yet. So I'm about to shut off this video and then I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to record part two, which is kind of going over the results and uh, doing some searches day by day just to see if it's working or not. And the other reason that I put today's date on here, which again was the um, February 15th, was because, you know, after this video is out, maybe everybody starts doing exactly what I'm doing and they copy it just to see if it works. And that's going to dilute everything and it may not work as well. So who knows? But I want to at least remember this and I want to record it for everybody. And I encourage you, if you happen to have another blog out there that's about um, dogs, a certain dog breed, and you want to talk about training a certain dog breed on a Sunday, then make a post about training a certain dog breed on a Sunday and you'll rank for it if you follow these tips. And again, I can't take credit for them. Um, it was a uh, huge help by Jared Elvidge. So thanks, Jared. You're the man. I thank you for it. Um, visit imtechhelp.com and get on his list because he's given out some great information. Um, but that's it. So that's it for part one. Uh, thanks again for watching. And hopefully I'm just as excited for part two. We'll see. I can't wait.